pour tens of thousands of dollars more in travel costs for Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard and her administration. It comes after WGN sued the village for refusing to turn over financial records as required by law. A judge sided with WGN. Investigative reporter Ben Bradley shows what those records reveal. One scene you go in there, and then two hours after your story airs, that police are at both of these establishments. We needed those officers to be on the street uh, fighting crime. And instead, we have several officers that are uh, riding around protecting the mayor. Astonishingly, an FBI agent has descended at Tiffany's residence, creating a scene of utter commotion with individuals scurrying about in disarray. For those unfamiliar with Tiffany, she is the mayor of Dalton, Illinois, has been inciting controversy consistently. But this is where it becomes intriguing. The FBI did not merely arrive. During a cordial visit, they discovered numerous piles of coal and substantial cash. We are discussing millions of honey, and that is not the entirety who can ascertain what additional secrets they unearthed in that house. The streets are abuzz with various speculative notions yet. One must question why such a substantial sum of money was left unattended. The intrigue is palpable. Preparing to urinate. The former police chief in South Suburban Dalton is speaking out for the first time to just one station about Mayor Tiffany Henyard's controversial police security detail and how it impacted his ability to fight crime. Last year, a Fox 32 investigation showed how that detail is taking officers off the street and costing taxpayers thousands of dollars in overtime. Dane Placco continues his investigation exclusively talking to the former top cop who tried to put a stop to it. The manpower was just very stressed and critical to the point of almost breaking. Former Dalton said, Police Chief Robert nice. Collins spoke to us from um, Florida where he's taken a new job place. after being fired by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard late last year. But Collins says he remains frustrated by what he experienced leading an undermanned, overworked police department while Mayor Henyard demanded a large personal security detail. You know, wrong is wrong and there's a time to hold people responsible and accountable for their actions. Last year, a Fox 32 investigation followed Henyard's detail as Dalton police officers drove her from morning till night, often to her second taxpayer-funded job as Thornton Township Supervisor in South Holland. Through an open records request, we found the officers assigned to Henyard racking up hundreds of hours of overtime, costing taxpayers tens of thousands of dollars. But at some point, there would be two officers or three officers. And depending on if there was some type of event, it would be more officers. That's for a town of a little more than 20,000 people that's struggling economically and usually only has a few officers on duty per shift. Collins says Henyard's security detail was warranted when it started in 2021 after a police-involved shooting sparked protests and threats. And at some point, the protests stopped. However, the detail continued and it grew in size and scope. Collins says Henyard frequently uses the officers as her personal valets. Officers would be sent out to run errands, to do pickups. And, and the mayor's detail racked up thousands of dollars in travel expenses, accompanying Henyard on her many trips out of town. Why do you need a security detail while you're out of town? Um, who's on the other end of that flight that's going to do harm? Collins says he became increasingly frustrated because the mayor's detail tied his hands when it came to fighting crime. Just last week, a mass shooting on Sibley Boulevard left four people injured. Collins believes the bad guys know there aren't enough cops on Dalton streets. But Village of Dalton has its challenges with gangs, guns, and drugs. And if those officers aren't there, the visibility isn't there. And if the visibility isn't there, then uh, criminals have free reign. When we tried to ask Mayor Henyard about her use of the detail last year, we were stopped by Village Administrator Keith Freeman. Let's Mayor, see. mind if I ask you a couple questions about your security detail? Absolutely not. I'm asking her. Yeah, she says no. Collins says he got the same cold shoulder when he tried to tell Freeman about the problems the mayor's detail was creating. And, and it, it more or less was, these are the orders. This is what you have to do. Last week, Collins filed a civil lawsuit against the village of Dalton for wrongful termination, saying he was fired by the mayor without cause and without board approval because his wife is friends with some of the mayor's perceived political enemies. And uh, our contention is that it is illegal. Did he do anything wrong? No. Chief Collins, any position that he's ever been in is a policeman's policeman. He held the rank of chief, but he's a patrolman at heart. But it is frustrating to see the officers used like that. And I'm sure the officers are frustrated too, but they are following orders. 
Y'all, the tea is about to pour everywhere prepare for astonishment, as the FBI's discovery in Tiffany Hen's residence surpasses the unpredictability of a cat amidst a room of rocking rockers the revelation of millions in cash is merely the beginning of the absurdity. Wait till you hear where they dug it up so picture this FBI agents combing through every nook and cranny of Tiffany's place they're not playing around honey they're lifting up floorboards, checking behind paintings, even peeking inside the cereal boxes, and let me tell you they hit the jackpot the streets are saying Tiffany had more hiding spots than a squirrel before winter we're talking about stacks on stacks on stacks of coal hard cash but get this it wasn't simply beneath the mattress or in some basic safe no my am the FBI found money placed in weird places I'm talking about hollowed out books phony air vents and even within the washing machine can you imagine illicit funds are undergoing a purification process you may be curious about the amount in question well chili grab a C because this number is going to make your head spin the FBI uncovered a stunning 3.2 million dollars in cash that's not chump change honey that's purchase a tiny island and never work again money but here's where it gets even juicier the cash wasn't all they found rumor on the street is that the fbi also came across some exquisite jewelry that would make elizabeth t are jealous we're talking about diamonds bigger than your dreams gold chains that could anchor up yacht and watches that cost more than your mama's house for a year now we've been reporting on questionable spending by a south suburban politician named tiffany henyard but we only knew half the story because we only had records from one of the two governments she runs now we can show you the real toll her travel is taking on taxpayers The self-proclaimed super mayor is a prolific poster on social media, but what she rarely publicizes are her travels, trips frequently paid for by taxpayers. If you want to have a good time, spend your own dime. Despite being a trustee, this is the first time Tammy Brown has been able to see the village's credit card statements, records we had to get through a judge's order. When you see things like this, it's, it's, it's like a punch in the gut. Last January, we told you Tiffany Henyard and her entourage racked up more than $67,000 in travel-related charges in just five months. But that's just what was charged to Thornton Township Credit Cards, where she's the supervisor. When you add in what was billed to Dalton, trips for Mayor Henyard and her entourage cost taxpayers more than $100,000. We questioned Henyard about travel last fall. I do not handle anything as relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting about, I do not handle that. Some of those charges are for you though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What, what is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? When Henyard hits the road, she and other village and township officials do so in style. Records show they often fly first class, pay for upgrades. They've stayed at luxury hotels, including the Four Seasons, and dine at steakhouses. Oh my God, when you just see these things. Let's look at one trip to Austin, Texas in July of last year. Five people, including Mayor Henyard, for five days. While we previously reported the township was billed $27,000, we now know the actual cost was more than $47,000 when you factor in what Dalton taxpayers were charged. It includes nearly a grand spent at an Austin Walgreens and a sports riding apparel store. The only explanation for any of the travel was that it was to attend a conference. I'm sure you guys had an awesome time on the backs of taxpayers, but what do we gain from any of these trips? We gain nothing. Trustees say they've been demanding explanations for months. You the ones that's costing the village money. Okay. I don't know how they call. I'm All right. Okay. But Henyard and her team refused to share the credit card records. We were never allowed to get those statements. So this is, this is the reason why you hid it from us because definitely we will have questions. Mayor Henyard is in a situation where she feels like she's under attack because she is. Bo Brindley is Henyard's criminal defense attorney, hired after the FBI served subpoenas on the village and township earlier this year. He blames Henyard's top aide, Keith Freeman. Keith Freeman made the decision on how these funds are being used. Keith Freeman is going on these trips. You understand, this is a new mayor. Uh, this is someone that is new to this job. But she never thought, hey, I shouldn't fly first class. I shouldn't stay at the Four Seasons. 
If there was a problem with any of that, if that's not how you're supposed to do it, she relied on Freeman to tell her. He's telling her this is how we do things. How things were done in Dalton is costing taxpayers dearly. Records we obtained show the village leased three luxury SUVs for Henyard's use at a cost to residents of more than $374,000. The mayor didn't spend any of this money. The, mayor, the Keith Freeman made decisions and reported to the mayor, this is what we're doing. The mayor trusted him until she didn't. This is me talking to people that understand business, that understand finance. Back to those Dalton credit cards. They include nearly $25,000 charged in five months without explanation to places like Walmart, Target, and Jewel. There was $5,000 spent at local restaurants and Uber Eats. And Tiffany Henyard's personal photographer charged the village $3,400. What I think is interesting about this case, this story, is you can be highly legal and unethical at the same time. Kelly Richmond Pope is an accounting professor who has investigated municipal spending. She says the brazenness is what caught her eye. Who does this? Who lives this way so out loud? It's almost like, I dare you to ask. I dare you to ask me. And I'm just shocked that a leader would think that they could get away with this type of behavior and that no one's going to ask them about it. We out here at Taste of Thornton. Yeah, keep raining, but it's still going on. Trustees for both of the governments headed by Henyard have now limited special event and credit card spending, but it may be too little, too late. Dalton is laying off workers after trustees discovered the village is millions in the hole. We sort of knew we were in a bind, but not to this extent. This is devastating. Federal prosecutors charged Keith Freeman with bankruptcy fraud. He's now cooperating with trustees investigating Henyard's spending, but he denies he's working with the feds. Freeman declined to comment. The FBI's investigation into Henyard marches on. That wasn't enough to make your jaw drop. They also stumbled upon some shady looking documents. Now I can't say for sure what was in those papers, but the way the FBI agent's eyes lit up, you know, it's got to be something spicy, but here's the real tea. Why did Tiffany have all this cash just lying around? I mean, last time I checked, banks were still a thing spending this much money at home is a bigger red flag than your ex texting you at AM. It's got the FBI lifting their eyebrows so high they're virtually touching their forehead. See, when you've got millions just chilling in your crib, it looks as the feds start wondering where all that money came from. Was it all from her mayor of salary girl? Please, unless being a mayor in Dalton, Illinois pays, pays better than being a Kardashian something ain't adding up in. Let's not forget having large amounts of cash like this can scream money laundering louder than your aunt at a family barbecue is the kind of thing that makes the IRS sit up and take notice they're probably pouring through Tiffany's tax records faster than you can say Audi. Popular bar shut down by police just hours after the owners talked to Fox 32. A village trustee also says it's because they're not financially supporting Dalton's mayor, Tiffany Henyard. Here's Dean Placa with the latest on the corruption investigation. Is it coincidence or retaliation? Both of the Dalton bars that were raided and shut down last night, we visited the day before as part of our ongoing investigation into allegations of political corruption in Dalton. They just rushed in here, put police at the front of the door like they was doing a raid on the drug house or something. A team of Dalton police officers raided and shut down Pablo's Bar and Cafe and Rinky's Bar and Cafe, both located on Sibley about a block apart. Everything going peacefully. Nothing going on. It's like 10 police cars came in and they start pushing customers from here. And he said, if you don't leave, we're going to lock you up. Employees and owners say it's part of an ongoing campaign of harassment by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard that is costing jobs and money. Their business licenses have been stripped by Dalton, but they've continued to operate with a state license. I have like over 23 employees. They work from the local township. Now, end of the day, all the employees, they're going to lose them job. It's ridiculous. We all have mouths to feed. We all have kids. Uh, they're not giving us no explanation. On Monday, we visited both Rinkies and Pablo's to ask about allegations their licenses were being held up for political reasons. Then last evening, we broke the story that FBI agents have questioned at least a half dozen people, including business owners, a former Dalton employee, and an elected official as part of an investigation into Mayor Henyard. Less than two hours after our story aired, police raided the two bars. Someone seen you go in there, and then two hours after your story airs, 
that police are at both of these establishments. Dalton trustee Tammy Brown says she believes the raids are meant to send a warning to others not to talk. And she believes there's a reason so many Dalton businesses are having trouble getting their licenses renewed. I'm sure that they were asked to donate, make a donation, and most likely they didn't make a donation. So you don't get a chance to stay open if you don't pay, pay the Queen's ransom. Now, tomorrow evening, there will be a special public meeting of the trustees opposed to the mayor in which they plan to take action on the village's finances, getting access to Village Hall. They've been locked out and welcoming that investigation by federal agencies. This ain't Tiffany's first rodeo with sketchy money moves. Remember when she was just a small town girl with big city dreams? Well, those dreams came with a price tag and you won't believe who was footing the bill. Let's rewind the tape on Tiffany Hennard's rise to power because it's messier than A. Two-year-old's finger painting this girl started out as a village trustee in Dolan, Illinois back in 2019. Now being a trustee in a small town ain't exactly glamorous, but Tiffany had her eyes on the prize she was climbing that political ladder faster than a squirrel on a grease pole. In 2021, she hit the jackpot and became the mayor of Dalton, but girl, that's when things started getting real shady. The streets were talking and they weren't saying nice thing. People were side-eyeing her left and right, wondering how she was living so large on a mayor's salary now. Here's where it gets juicy. Tiffany wasn't just content with being mayor of Dalton. Oh no, she wanted more in 2022. She became the Thoron Township supervisor. That's right. She was double dipping like a chip at a party. But instead of people being impressed, they were giving her the side eye harder than your mama. When you come home past curfew, you see Tiffany. Been collecting jobs titles like they're going out of style mayor supervisor. What's next queen of Illinois? But with all these roles came a whole lot of drama. The truth is she's been accused of manipulating her positions for personal benefit more times than I've had hot dinners. Can the Dalton Police Department afford to have this many officers attached to her detail? We can. We really need them patrolling the streets. So she's the part-time mayor of a South Suburban village of a little more than 20,000 people. Yet residents of Dalton are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars per year to provide security for their self-proclaimed super mayor. Tonight, Fox 32 investigates Tiffany Henyard's security detail and the massive amount of overtime it is generating for a handful of officers. Our Dane Placco has more. Hey guys, this is Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henyard, the People's Mayor and People's Supervisor. Tiffany Henyard makes nearly a quarter million dollars a year serving as both Mayor of Dalton and Thornton Township Supervisor, an elected political double dip. She's charismatic and controversial. Nobody knows something. Don't know nobody knows nothing. Here she is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. Later, punctuating her political points with the help of her own DJ. Every single resident, pay me what you owe me. Thank you, DJ. And it's hard to turn anywhere in Dalton without seeing Henyard's picture or online, where she recently commemorated 9-11 with her own photo. I want to ask you a few questions. Okay. But when we asked Henyard a few months ago about her use of tax dollars, she was quickly hustled out of the room by armed security. And on Facebook, in videos posted by Henyard herself, we see her being driven around and surrounded by Dalton officers, which got us to wondering, why all the cops? We weren't opposed to her having the security detail. We asked how long and how often. Dalton trustee Brittany Norwood says Henyard began assembling her details shortly Shortly after being elected in 2021, using hand-picked Dalton police officers. <laughs> using a Freedom of Information request, we obtained the work records for six of the officers assigned to Henyard's security detail at various times and showed them to some of Dalton's trustees. This is a Freedom of Information request we did to see how much overtime these officers are making on her security detail. Oh, wow. 162 hours. 162. Well, that's nothing. What goes through your mind when you see these numbers? Um, uh, it, it's, it's disappointing. It's frustrating. The officers are paid every two weeks, which without overtime is 80 hours. But when they're put on Henyard's detail, that 80 hours balloons to well over 100 hours, sometimes 200 hours. And in the case of Officer Terry Young last May, 303 hours worked over a two-week period. That resulted in a single paycheck of more than $13,000. How? How does a person put in a two-week pay period, 303 hours? That's impossible. That's there's, impossible. There's 336 hours. Does he hours. never go to sleep? In fact, there are 336 hours total in two weeks, meaning Young was not being paid for only 33 hours over that period. 
Other officers on the security detail are also racking up overtime paychecks in the multiple thousands of dollars. Mayor, Let's mind see. if I ask you a couple questions about your security detail? Absolutely not. I'm asking her. Yeah, she says no. A couple weeks ago, we tried to question Henyard about her detail as she went door to door in Dalton giving out water on a 100 degree day. Surrounded by police, firefighters, public works employees, and two videographers documenting for Dalton's Facebook page. I want to tell the people I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. I hope they post what we actually do here in the village of Dalton. And stop telling lies. But when we gave her an opportunity to explain the OT, there, why do you need so many why don't officers, you guys, details, what you or your security? Water? What did you say, water? It sounded like you said water. water. Earlier that day, we watched as a Dalton cop drove Henyard from her other job at Thornton Township to a Mexican restaurant for lunch. Trustees say the security detail picks the mayor up at her home in the morning and is with her until she's dropped off at night, often taking her on errands and shopping. Does she need a security detail? Absolutely not. Why? Why would you need a security detail? Oh, she loves it. She just loves it. She loves the detail. <laughs> I think um, it makes her feel as if um, she's like a superstar. Dalton trustees have filed a lawsuit against Tenyard, saying she's not justified the need for security and is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on it without the board's approval. I see no justification whatsoever, and more than that, it's really a detriment to the residents of Dalton. How so? Um, the residents, if we would take the same money and put it on officers patrolling the streets, then the residents will see a much better presence and public safety will be better. We've had a few shootings, so we need the extra police patrolling our streets instead of patrolling her. And we found Dalton credit card statements showing that Henyer takes the detail with her even when she travels out of town, spending thousands of dollars on plane tickets, lodging, and meals for the officers. Mayor, why are you taking all the officers out of town with you? Isn't that a waste okay. of taxpayers' money? Let's go to this one right here. Oh, you Anything you want to say to defend yourself on this? As for the village's finances, trustees say Dalton is now getting sued by some vendors for failure to pay its bills. In the last two fiscal years, we're $5 million in the hole. And a big part of it is the security detail. It's embarrassing. Embarrassing? It's embarrassing. You don't see the governor with a detail as hers. That lawsuit over the mayor's detail has not yet been settled. On Monday, we emailed a list of detailed questions to Henyard's spokesman, but never received a response. Remember that time she allegedly used taxpayer money to fund a trip to Las Vegas Girl? It wasn't to hit the slot machine she said it was for a conference, but the only thing people were conferencing about was her questionable spending habits, and let's not forget the time she was accused of hiring. Her own security detail without proper approval talk about living like a diva on the public DME, but wait, there's more Tiffany's been in hot water for allegedly giving city contracts to her friends and family. It's like she thought the mayor's office was her personal hookup spot, and don't even get me started on the accusations of her intimidating other officials she's been running Dalton, like it's her own personal kingdom and Honey the Peasants are rising today with this FBI raid. All those prior controversies are coming back to haunt her like a bad ex looks like all her chickens decided to come home to roost at the same time. And they brought their cousins too. The feds finding millions in cash isn't just a problem, it's a full-on catastrophe for Tiffany's career. Think about it. A small town mayor with millions stashed away that's more suspicious than your man coming home with lipstick on his collar. It's got people asking all sorts of questions. Where did the money come from? Was she skimming off the top? Or is there something even darker going on this raid? Isn't just going to affect Tiffany's bank account. It's going to hit her reputation harder than a wrecking ball, her political career girl. It might be dead than last year's trends. The residents of Dalton are probably madder than a damp hand feeling like they've been played for fools. Reporting for nearly two years on allegations of corruption surrounding Henyard in her capacity as Dalton Mayor and Thornton Township uh, Supervisor. And now we've learned from multiple sources that federal agents are in fact interviewing witnesses as part of a possible investigation that may or may not result in charges. Did the FBI agents you talked to seem serious about yes, your, very serious. your concerns? Very, very serious. Very. Lawrence Gardner owns a U-Haul rental and trucking business in South Suburban Dalton and says he went to the FBI several months ago, frustrated that the village of Dalton would not renew his business license. Gardner says he's been harassed and his business raided and shut down by Dalton police, he believes because he refused to make a donation to a civic event sponsored by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. And I talked to um, a couple of agents and I explained them what was going on. I gave them all my paperwork to show them 
what was happening in court and what was happening in Dalton. And they told me they was investigating and they would be in touch with me. Gardner is one of six people who confirmed to Fox 32 that they've been interviewed by the FBI, ranging from Dalton business owners to a former village employee and at least one public official. And we've learned the FBI has been using electronic surveillance as part of its investigation. Agents are asking questions about Henyard's alleged use of taxpayer dollars and resources, including massive spending on out-of-town trips, hundreds of thousands of dollars in police overtime for her personal security detail, using public employees and tax dollars for personal benefit, and holding up licenses to certain businesses like this Dalton restaurant. I've heard r rumors that say, hey, I'm on the wrong team. Dwayne Wood has been trying to renew the business license for his restaurant for nearly a year. While he has not talked to the FBI, he believes he can't get approved because he's provided catering to several Dalton trustees who are engaged in a political fight with Henyard. I think I've been just targeted because of my association affiliation with a certain group of people. You know, I the had trustees. the trustees. I've, I've cooked for the trustees. And in a lawsuit filed by a Dalton towing company, the owner alleges their business license has been held up because, quote, George's towing's refusal to support or contribute to Henyard's political campaign. In a statement, Dalton trustee Jason House reacted to the news of the FBI's involvement. We welcome any investigation that will bring transparency on how taxpayer dollars are being spent. Our residents deserve this level of financial transparency. We reached out to the FBI, which said it is policy for the agency not to comment on the nature, existence, or non-existence of any investigation that may be occurring. A public relations firm responded on behalf of the mayor, saying neither Henyard or the village of Dalton have received any subpoenas or been contacted by the FBI or any other law enforcement agency. Everybody's got something to say about this catastrophe, but let me tell you the streets are buzzing louder than a beehive on Red Bull, social media is exploding up quicker than a microwave taco, and the local community, they're more rattled than a Polaroid image Twitter's on fire with folk sharing. Their ideas faster than Tiffany can count her cash at Dalton Watcher tweeted, how does a small town mayor end up with millions under her mattress something's fishy in Dalton? And it ain't the lake meanwhile Facebook groups are popping up like whack-a-mole with names like Tiffany's Treasure. Trove and show me the money mayor but it's not just keyboard warriors getting in on the action the good people of Dalton are out here giving interviews like they're auditioning for a reality show. Mrs. Johnson from down the block told the local news I've been living here for 40 years and I ain't. Never seen nothing like this makes you wonder what else she's hiding the shade is real now. You're probably wondering where all this money came from. Was Tiffany running up secret underground casino? Did she hit the lottery and forget to tell everyone or is there something even dark going on the Theories are wilder than a night out with them Kardashians. Some folks are saying it's kickbacks from those shady contracts she's been handing out like candy on Halloween. Others think she's been skimming off the top of the town's budget. And then there's those who believe she's got some secret side. Hustle we don't know about. Maybe she's been moonlighting as a rapper or selling designer knockoffs on the internet. John, the mayor here has been accused of misusing funds. The mayor and a trustee are being sued for an alleged sexual assault against a former village employee. The village administrator now facing bankruptcy fraud charges. And today, this afternoon, federal agents popping in Village Hall looking for some information. The, the House of Cards are collapsing. I think the government is, uh, is taking action. It's normally bad news when federal agents stop by a village hall looking for documents, but that's not bad news to many in Dalton. Months and months and months we have been begging for someone to come out here and actually investigate as to what's actually going on out here. Video appears to show those federal agents inside Village Hall Friday afternoon, where we've learned they were serving two subpoenas. One focuses on employment and disciplinary records of 25 Village of Dalton employees, including three police officers and Keith Freeman, the senior administrator recently charged with bankruptcy fraud. The other subpoena focuses on Freeman and any potential involvement with certain companies, whether or not they received any money, had business or contracts relating to the village. One trustee says Mayor Tiffany Henyard has left them in the dark for months. Since September, we haven't received financials. And the last time we did receive financials, we were informed that we were $7 million in debt. The Legislative Council for the Board of Trustees says the feds may have a tough time getting the documents they're requesting. The clerk is the custodian of the records. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is 
She doesn't have any records because they, they have taken the records away from her. I was being told that those documents probably have been shredded weeks ago. The news of the Fed's Friday visit even drawing a crowd near Village Hall as many in the community support an investigation into Henyard's practices. The trustees even hiring former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot this month to investigate the Dalton mayor. The people of Dalton want to be rescued. They, they, they know they're bleeding and they know there's no money left, and they live there. And so, so what's next? Police services, fire services, water, what's next? The FBI did confirm that they were conducting court-authorized law enforcement activity in this area today, but could not comment further. Tonight, Mayor Tiffany Henyard posting on Facebook, pointing out that this was not a so-called FBI raid, here at Village Hall, also adding in a statement, quote, to all you clowns, that's a part of the circus. Misery needs company. I pray for you all. Stop chasing fake news. But here's the thing, regardless of where the money came from, Tiffany is in more hot water than a lobster at Red Lobster when it comes to legal issues that could make OJ's trial seem like a parking ticket dispute. The FBI won't play nice instead. They will go through Tiffany's life with a fine tooth comb, searching for any small detail that doesn't add up. And let's not forget about her political career, which is about to blow up faster than a marshmallow at a campfire. The people of Delton are furious, feeling as though they've been duped, and Tiffany knows it. Calls for Tiffany's resignation will come in thick and fast. But it's not just Tiffany who will feel the heat this scandal feathers will fly, akin to someone throwing a grenade into a chicken coop. And everyone will be staring at every politician in the area, wondering who else might be hiding a fortune in their fruit vendor. But maybe that's not such a bad thing this whole mess could just be the wake-up call that Dalton needs. People are now asking questions that they ought to have been asking all along, such as why the mayor needs a larger security detail than buy-in and why the roads still resemble the moon's surface despite our taxation. So now let's get into the details about Henyard using cops as her security detail 24-7. Which is insane because she is a mayor of a small town. Why would she need security 24-7? An, opens record, an open records request uh, shows that officers assigned to Henyard have racked up hundreds of hours in overtime, obviously costing the town quite a bit of money. This is costing the town hundreds of thousands of dollars actually, and the police get paid every two weeks, like most people do, with 80 hours counting as their regular full-time hours. But some of the cops, like Terry Young, have billed as much as 303 hours in a single two week pay period. Okay, let that sink in for a second. He billed 303 hours when in two weeks there's a total of 336 hours. There's more. That resulted in a single paycheck of more than $13,000. They also ran errands for her. They accompanied her on trips out of town. And even though supervisors appropriated money to ensure that lenders were getting paid for the police cruisers that the town had acquired, Henyard didn't make the payment. And as a result, those vehicles are now going to be repossessed. This is crazy. Now, because of all of this alleged misuse of taxpayer funds, Board of Trustee uh, Jason House reacted favorably to the FBI's investigation, saying that the Board of Trustees and I have repeatedly questioned the mayor's office on her use of public funds. We welcome any investigation that will bring transparency on how taxpayer dollars are being spent. Our residents deserve this level of financial transparency. And honestly, it seems as though the entirety of the Board of Trustees have been pushing back on her spending. Now, Dalton Board of Trustees members are not happy with her. And so in a recent meeting, uh, they went after her. Uh, so we'll get to that in a moment. But first, let's start with Brittany Norwood, who's one of the members of the Board of Trustees. When we first started office, we were financially sound. But over just the last two and I want to say maybe in a half years, um, we've went from financially sound to a $7 million deficit. And that deficit continues to grow. What she does is she says, well, hey, you know, I'm using all of these mo this money to provide services. So she 
tricks the citizens into thinking, hey, all of this spending is just to provide you with services. And the trustees, they want to cut the spending because they don't want you to have these, these services. When the truth is, she's overspending and she's doing so much frivolous spending that it's catching up with us. And at some point, it'll eventually come to an end and we don't know where that may lead us. This is so deeply unfair to the residents of Dalton. So unbelievably unfair. You think that they couldn't use that money for a better community, whether it be funding their schools, you know, maybe giving them a tax break, a little bit of a tax break, considering how high their property taxes are, considering the fact that 15% of the population living there are currently living in poverty, maybe some social programs to help them out. And earlier this month, the board called for, you know, her to explain some of this spending. They called her spending into question and Henyard, she was not pleased. And so she went on a very lengthy rant. I have a snippet of that rant for you. Let's take a look. And y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black, y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all selves. All the stuff that y'all did to get people to come to our community, to just diss and down our community, shame on y'all. Because when I want to attack and take any of y'all seats, I run. I run for the seat. I don't do smear campaigns. I don't do all this mess. It's nonsense. Because at the end of the day, we still got to live in this village. She kept mentioning how unfair it is that she's being targeted as a black woman. Just want to show you what uh, the racial makeup of the board of trustees looks like. Let's take a look. Yeah, uh, I don't think that the questions about her use of public funds has anything to do with race. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that it seems like some shady stuff is going on. And it is certainly not fair to the residents of Dalton to have their resources taken from them only to be used on hair and makeup, on a Chevy Tahoe that costs the town $150,000, on a 24 seven security detail for a small town mayor that no one's ever heard of until now, I guess. It's just such awful behavior and it's such awful abuse of public funds. And so I hope that justice will be served. I hope the FBI does a full investigation into this because again, not fair to the people of Dalton at all. Let's quickly review the FBI raids girl. When millions of dollars are discovered in Tiffany Hensley's home, everyone is going insane. The mayor of a small town has been rising through the ranks of politics faster than you can say scandal. But now that everything is falling apart, what will happen next? The feds will be going through Tiffany's life as if it were a Saks clearance sale, questioning everyone from her hairdresser to her second cousin twice removed in Dalton, Chile. The town is about to undergo some changes, which begs the question, is this just the tip of the iceberg people are talking about this and saying it's not over by a long shot? This drama is only getting started, so 